All right, and several presidents were in Nairobi today to discuss the raging conflict in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Countries like Kenya are already paying a high price for the conflict with the influx of refugees and other security problems. But as Katians Asham Mulu reports, many of the Congolese nationals living here can't wait for peace to return to their land. <laughs> A guitar in hand and a powerful voice. That's all the weapon 33-year-old Jean Bulela has to fight in the ongoing war in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Jean is among the 400,000 Congolese living outside the DRC. For the last eight years, he has attempted to go back home to help in ending the war without success. He now lives in Nairobi, making music with messages to urge his countrymates to end the crisis. This vitamin can affect the sun, because we have to go up an inch, inch, an inch, an inch. Because we have to go up an inch, 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 an inch. For Jean, the ongoing Great Lakes Summit in Nairobi is as personal as it gets. The heads of states who attended this summit on Wednesday held a closed-door session to discuss how the region could intervene in the conflict. If we continue to show the kind of commitment that we have shown, I am convinced, I am certain, that we will be able to achieve peace in the DRC. Sisi tunduwa Kongo tu kuona hamu sana ya kuona imeisha. After hii mkutano tuone at least something ime happen. Jean's sentiments are shared by more than just civilians in Congo. Gaston Mubawa is an interested party. As the president of the armed groups in eastern Congo, he is in the country to seek audience with President Uhuru Kenyatta. Kwanza sisi watu wa este ya Congo, kifuka yetu ya kwanza ni Mombasa, utajiri yote ya yetu inapitia ni Mombasa kwa kwenda este ya Congo. Ndiyo mana tunalomba sana Kenya itusaidii. The DRC conflict has been termed the worst war since World War II, since 1998, over 5.8 million people have died. Recent reports also claim that 48 women are raped every hour in Congo. So while the Great Lakes region seeks an African solution for this conflict, Jean Bulela continues to dream of a time he will be able to make music right where he belongs, back in Congo. Ashamwilu, KTN, Nairobi.